hey guys back with another video for my addictive blogging channel so previously i have made a video to measure the blood pressure and ecg on the samsung galaxy watch 4 but a lot of people are saying that they are not able to download and install the apks which are required to measure the ecg and blood pressure on the watch and also these features are not yet unlocked in a lot of region or places in the world so in case if you want to enable the ecg and blood pressure monitoring on the watch you can do that now by installing some of the apps and following the steps i will be discussing in this video these steps are updated steps and i will also give you the apk files which you need to install on the watch and your phone to get this feature on the samsung galaxy watch 4 and it is working really really well as you can see it can show you the definitely the ecg on your samsung galaxy watch 4 so in this video i will show you how we can get the feature of blood pressure monitoring and ecg on the samsung galaxy watch 4 and also how we can measure this via the watch so as always this video will be a sick video guys and if you are taking shares don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification up because i will be making more videos like this so the first app you need to install is the phone wear os shm mod and this is the app i will be leaving the link in the description from where you can install this so once you have downloaded this you need to click on it and it will install on your phone and once you have installed it it is really, really easy to install another app on your samsung galaxy watch 4 after that you need to download another file with the name watch shm mod and this is the file you need to install on your watch so to do that you need to again download the easy fire tools app available on the play store i will be leaving the link of the easy fire tools in the description again and once you have done that you need to enable the developer options on the watch if you have not enabled it you need to come to about watch in the software info you need to click on software version and tap on here numerous times to get the developer mode turned on once you have turned on the developer mode you need to come to the developer option turn on adb debugging and also you need to turn on the wireless debugging option here you will get the option to wirelessly debug your samsung galaxy watch 4 once you have done that you need to come to the easy fire tools app come to settings and here you will get the ip address option you have to put the same ip address which is displayed on the watch and here you can see i put it on my phone and once i have done that I am ready to connect my easy fire tools with the samsung galaxy watch 4 it will take some time to connect and once connected you will see the green icon will come here as the connection will be successful so here you can see i have already connected my easy fire tools app with the samsung galaxy watch 4 and now i need to click on custom apk file and select the file which we have downloaded now so this is the file i have downloaded and i will click on the install option to install this on my samsung galaxy watch 4 so here you can see i have already installed it and after i have installed it i can see the blood pressure and ecg options make sure you have also installed the samsung health app so the samsung health app is the app which is required to enable this feature and once you have installed it you need to also connect it with the galaxy wear app so once you have connected the samsung galaxy watch 4 with the galaxy wear app you are ready to use the ecg feature on this watch so now let's see whether the feature is working or not so i will be wearing the watch and now i will start the ecg from the watch to check what is the reading coming on this watch so as soon as i will be opening the app you will see that i have the blood pressure and ecg monitoring options if i click on blood pressure you will see that it will ask me to connect the blood pressure measuring accessory so for that i need a blood pressure monitor otherwise i will not be able to measure the blood pressure now so here you can see it is showing the instructions how we can do that so obviously i don't have the device right now so i will not be able to calibrate and measure the blood pressure but definitely i can measure the ecg on my watch to measure the ecg i have to again open the app 
and once I open the app you will see that I have the ECG option and I will just click on the OK and I will place my finger in here make sure your watch is snugly fit otherwise it will not be able to detect and you should not be moving your hand also you should be keeping your hand still so at last it is showing me the reading and this is sinus rhythm that means the ECG does not show any signs of heart attack and my heart is working perfectly fine so definitely this is a really good indicator whether you are having palpitations or if you have any issues with your heart it will detect from the watch but at the same time don't take it as a medical advice as it does not detect accurately any heart attack also you can come to the samsung health monitor app and get the report there also if you scroll down you can see the average heart rate and if you are feeling unwell there is an option to add these symptoms here so really a good way to measure the ECG from the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 and it does measure the ECG real time as you can see if I just move my finger away it will stop recording the ECG so that's it guys I just wanted to show you how we can measure the blood pressure and ECG on this watch i hope you have liked this video if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel hit that bell notification up because i will be making more videos like this so thank you guys have a great day thank you